Hello everyone, welcome to my lab. In this video, I will show you the oiling of ceiling fan, bearing replacement and winding check. And I am going to use this bearing puller tool for removing the bearings. And I will use these two new bearing 6201 and 6202. So let's start. If you love my video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Let's switch on. So first of all, we have to remove this holding part. I have already shown the all parts of a ceiling fan. You can find the link in description. You can watch the video before watching this video. Now we have to disconnect the connections of the ceiling fan. When I rotate the shaft, you can hear a coarse noise is coming out from the fan. That means the bearing is damaged definitely and we have to replace the bearing for smooth rotation of the fan. Now we have to remove these three screw for opening the fan. Now we have to remove these three screw for opening the cover of the fan. And you can see the bearing is not fitted well in the fan and there is a movement in the bearing. Basically when there is a damage in bearing then this type of movement is shown. Now we have to remove this bottom cover and by just pulling the cover you can see the winding and you can see this is the rotor part of the fan and to remove this stator part of the fan we have to just pull the shaft before this pulling we have to pull out the cables from this hole And you can see this is the stator part or winding of the fan. There are four cables coming out from the windings, two from starting winding and two from running winding. We have to check. I have already shown how to check the windings in my previous video. You can find the link in description. And we will check the winding later. First of all, we have to replace the bearing. You can see the bearing is worn and there is a slow movement in the bearing. So we have to remove this cover. Now you can see the bottom cover of the fan and the bearing is also worn. We have to replace it. And now you can see the rotor part of the fan is okay and there is no damage in the rotor part so no maintenance needed in this case to remove the bearing we have to open the bearing cover of the fan now 
we will use this bearing puller for removing the bearings first of all we have to unscrew the nut and now you can see there are two part of the screw and there are two part this is for 6201 bearing that means larger bearing and this is for smaller bearing that means 6202 and we have to insert this smallest part to the smallest bearing side and this larger part for this larger bearing we have to place the bearing removing cup on the top side of the bearing and insert the screw like this then we have to mount the nut on the cup like this we have to ensure that the screw should come up to the last portion of the bearing now we have to insert the plate in between the two part of the screw and we have to place the lever arm in between the two screw and the plate like this now we have to rotate the bottom nut like this and slowly rotate the nut and now you can see the bearing is removed perfectly and it stays in the cup we have to remove the old grease inside the bearing slot you can see the bearing is totally jammed and there is a wear and tear inside the bearing so this is not rotating well we will replace this bearing again we will replace the bearing of the another part of the fan just like before we have shown all old greases are removed manually and we will wash it with kerosene now i will insert the bearings inside the bearing housing of the fan there are two types of bearing in used in the fan that is 6201 and 6202 6202 is larger than 6201 and this is the 6202 bearing we have to place the bearing in the bearing housing and keeping a part of a paper 
we have to tap like this on the bearing and it will fit inside the bearing housing like this and you can see the part is rotating freely we have to fill grease in the gap between the housing and bearing we have to fill grease in the bearing cover Just like before, we have to place the bearing in the another part of the fan. And we have to fill the grease inside the gap of the bearing and the housing. Now we have to check the winding before fitting the fan. The spring is to be replaced and it should be cleaned <laughs> we have to test the winding by continuity check of the two winding of the starting winding and running winding if there is any fault then it should be open and you can see the resistance of the one winding is 199 ohm that means the winding is ok and if we test the body of the winding there is no connection that means no insulation failure and you can see there is no fault in the fan in this winding and between these two winding, two terminal of the different winding, it is also ok. If we connect another winding terminals, that means red terminals like this, and you can see the resistance of the winding is 292.1 ohm that means the winding is ok now we will test the continuity between the body and the winding and another winding there is no connection so the insulations are ok we can connect the winding in the fan there is no connection so this is good now we have to test the capacitor of the fan using this multimeter and you can see the capacitance of the capacitor is 2.414 microfarad that means the capacitor is ok and we can connect this capacitor again in the fan the stator part of the fan will rest in this position like this and the cover will rotate like this so we have to add some grease in between the rotor part and the stator part like this Now we are ready to assemble the fan again so let's start the assembly process. After mounting the screw 
we have to ensure that the fan shaft is free to rotate in the fan housing like this and there is no noise is coming out from the fan that means our fitting is okay Now before connecting the fan with capacitor we have to find out the starting winding and running winding. So you can see the yellow winding resistance is 199 ohm and red winding resistance is 292 ohm. The winding which have more resistance it is the running winding and the winding which have less resistance it is the starting winding that means yellow is the starting winding and red is the running winding. So we have to connect the capacitor with yellow winding that means starting winding like this we have to connect the fan as per this connection diagram i have already shown how to connect a fan in my previous video you can find the link in description now let's test the fan that is running by connecting the supplied wires like this and you can see the fan is running perfectly and there is no noise is coming out from the fan that means our fitting is okay and there is no problem found in the fan now we can mount the fan holding shaft and other accessories like blades and mounting screws etc with this motor So now you can see our fan is ready to fit with the blades and you can see after finishing with paints and fitting with the blades the fan is running freely and there is no noise is coming out from the fan. Thank you guys stay tuned with us. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.